What's going on guys, it's Narcazi here, so in this video, I'm going to be doing a reaction review to Francis Magalona, Man from Manila, live. Now, I've always heard this song before, because, you know, I lived in the Philippines for nine months, and although I'm mostly into the Philippine punk rock, and you got the urban bands back there, Philippine violators, and all that good shit, I'm also into hip-hop, and not just any hip-hop, I like old-school hip-hop, and Francis M, I mean, he is the most legendary rapper from the Philippines, he's got his own clothing line, and Robinson's, and... I got some shirts. Francis M is fucking amazing. He was born in 1964, and he unfortunately passed away in 2009, so rest in peace to him. I give this shout out to him. I have a Man from Manila. I've only heard it on the cassette and CD. I've only heard the studio version. I've never actually seen the video here. This isn't like a live, you know, this isn't like an official record label made music video. This is a live video. I don't know where. Um. Old school performance of the King Pinoy rap at Manila. It's just, yeah, it's just live Manila. So yeah, this is gonna be exciting. I'm I'm truly stoked to see this. Anyway, let's do this. <laughs> I'm ready to defend the three stars in the sun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can understand the lot, but I don't know that they're in the I wish I did. Love the dance moves. The man from Manila, the killer, the showstopper. Death rhyme creator, deep like a trainer. Mentally equipped to rip in the pop position in a second. A heartbeat, make it move your feet. Rock with the beat and ammo, he can cut a groove too. The fact he's mega on his ear. The move you make you want to stack up the cater, but still I made it. The long hot climb on the top, you still are waiting for my chance at your lifetime. The rock and roll rhymes make you get up and what it's like to be here. One time I was a young blood growing up a reckless. So God showed me a way to redirect this. Shell and bought with a bitch in the new mall that the land and the Yo, that fucking crowd is so tame. It's like, what? What are you? Why aren't you people moshing and jumping around and having a good time and shit? There's a legend on the stage. What's wrong with you people? From Manila, I met an instant I ran to a 40 The dance floor king is full of facts of inferiority If I'm madness, rhymes and oil badness From a dime for form to all I finish you'll be glad this Records are fading cause you've been waiting all night To get up and move your body right He's just flowing Now's the time for letter all show Just go on the floor now you know that it's the man from Manila I can't dance like that <laughs> Yeah. 
คุณแม่เปิดป้าย Boy, God, I heard that. Holy shit, man! What is up with this crowd, though? I'm so they're bumming me out. They're just sitting there, not they're not jumping around and dancing, and you know, if I was at this show, I would be swinging from the fucking walls. I'd be doing Mario jumps and shit all over the place. Francis M is on stage, and so I love his outfit, his white outfit, and the dancing. So, okay, let me start from the beginning. This is definitely some Beastie Boys level shit right here. Classic uh, old school hip hop like the Beastie Boys, and his English verse where he starts. Uh, I think it's like right here. Yeah, that 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 reminds me of a. Uh, the English version of the song reminds me a lot of LL Cool J's I'm Bad. <laughs> you think you can at Remy? Yeah, boy, yeah, I bet, because I ain't met a motherfucker who can do that yet. This uh, song, the English version reminds me of LL Cool J and I'm Bad, especially the way he's dancing around. And Another thing that his dance moves remind me of, which I know Vanilla Ice isn't really known for much more than Ice Ice Baby, but if you go back and you look at a lot of Vanilla Ice's earlier shows, Dude does not just spit and fire rhymes on stage, but Vanilla Ice is doing a bunch of dance moves and shit. And Francis M's dance moves remind me a lot of that. I, I just love it. He's, he's spit and fire. He's got some classic, you know, funky grooves going on in the background. His, his DJ just ripping fire up, and he's just dancing and swirling, and he's got his dance crew in the back. He's putting on an A-plus five-star show, and I fucking wish I would have been there. I'm sad, heartbroken that he passed away in 2009, which I gotta get his records, I gotta get Yo and the rest of them, but man, this guy, Francis M, Francis Magalona. Jesus Christ. I wish the video was a little clearer. Yeah, this uh, shirt right here. <laughs> I don't necess I can't really figure out what that says, but I do see a little vinyl record on the back of it. It says M O something. I can't really tell. Yeah, it's way too blurry. I can't necessarily tell what that shirt is, but I like his outfit. His dancers, though. As he's walking around the stage, the dancers are staying and seeing him to just hop it back and forth. Classic old school hip hop show. Yeah, this is uh, from 1990. I know the song came out in 1992 or 1991, so. Classic 90s hip hop song. Wow. Oh, and one thing I did wanted to point out here. So, in the Tagalog part, he talks about the three stars in the sun representing Visayas, Mindanao, and Luzon. So, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Philippine flag, you know, it's red on, it's a blue on top. Uh, red on the bottom, and then there's triangle, it's white triangle, and there's three stars and a sun. The three stars on the Philippine flag represent the three main islands, Luzon, Mindanao, and Visayas. That's uh, what he made a reference to. This uh, over-the-top, very patriotic song expressing his love for Manila, Philippines, his home, his country. Gotta give lots of love and shout-outs to Francis Magalona, because he's amazing, and I really wish that I would have been alive, and well, not just alive, I wish that I would have been able to have seen him live, because he's putting on one hell of a show, and uh, I've also heard his song Kaleidoscope World, which, that made me tear up a bit, I'll do a reaction to that later on, but I just wanted to do a quick video over Francis M, Samantha Manila live version, and watch him perform live with you, my audience, as my first on-webcam reaction review video. But I think that's all I'm going to say about this. Um, check it out. Go search for it on YouTube here and watch it for yourself. Blast it out your speakers, especially if you like that old school hip hop from the 80s and 90s, because it's definitely a hell of fusion of 80s hip hop and 90s hip hop just fused together into something magnificent. Anyway, guys, I'm going to to all my Filipino friends, my boy and Los